Look at how sunburned Georgia is. <laughs> I feel so sorry for you, girl. Oh, it's so painful. It stings so much. Oh my so gosh. I never get sunburned. Because you have me there to put sunscreen on you, but you were not there to put sunscreen on me because you failed me. So guys, today is my third day in Singapore and I love this city so much already. It's just so much food. People are so nice and I'm most intrigued by the culture in Singapore. Singaporeans, they are predominantly of Chinese ethnicity. That's around 70% of them are Chinese. That's why I was thinking that when I came to Singapore, I'll be able to listen to a lot of Chinese, but wherever I go, I will just be listening to English. Seems like the Chinese people here can't really speak Chinese. I did some research and because Singapore is so ethnically diverse, government was promoting English as a working language for all racial groups within Singapore. They need a common language to unify the country. But the government in the 70s, they came up with a campaign called Speak Mandarin Campaign to encourage Chinese Singaporeans to speak more Chinese. But still, wherever I go these days, I don't really hear Chinese people speak Chinese to each other. So today, I want to make a little um, exploring video to talk to Chinese Singaporeans and ask them if they can speak Chinese. Hey guys, as an urban planning student, I always find stuff like this so interesting. At the crossroad in Singapore, you will see something like this. So if you are disabled or you're an elderly, you tap your card here, they will make the green light go longer. It is a really clever system because it encourages people to walk faster, to cross the road faster, so that the cars can flow faster, so less traffic jam in the city. But if you're really like disabled or you have problem, then just tap the card and then like people will wait for you. Ah, and one more interesting thing here. In Singapore, they don't call it Zhongwen, they call it Huayu. I'm Chinese Singaporean. Your Chinese can be? No. Can you say to what level? I was a little bit. Actually, I went to China before. I, I, I'm able to read the Chinese signs and the directions. Yeah. Right? So, yeah, I regret. I regret because um, I come from an English-speaking family. I feel a bit like, yeah. Uh, I'm a Chinese, but I don't know how to speak and read Chinese. Uh, but did you learn when you were at school? Yeah, but I dropped, I dropped the subject. Singapore, there's no one so uh, where are you guys from? From Singapore. Uh, you can speak Chinese? A little bit. A little bit. How are you speaking? It's good, it's good. Because we have to speak English. Like in school, we have to speak English. It's the culture, I guess. We speak English all the time. English? So your English is better than Chinese? So when would you guys speak Chinese? When, when we eat steamboat, when we eat hot pot. So when you have kids in the future, would you teach them Chinese? Yeah, probably. Oh, how's it going? Yeah, what's up, what's up? Minute you go into hot pot shop, we only go down your organic school. Just instant change in their head. You just want to speak Chinese. Oh, do you want to speak Chinese? Chinese. 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 Where are you from? Uh, Malaysia. Oh, what are you doing in Singapore? Uh, study. Do you speak Chinese? Uh, speak 对我们来讲还蛮容易
And guys, one little weird thing that I find about myself is I go to a new country, I start to pick up their accent. So when I speak to a Singaporean for a while, I start to speak like this, can, can, can. When I go to the UK, I start to talk like this. If I go to France, I start to speak like these, I go buy some water. Can you speak Chinese? Yeah, yeah, as in, can yeah. 普通普通講真的他比我厲害講得好那是寫不出來就是我給一本華語書你會看懂嗎看不懂你在家裡講華語那你英語誒為什麼不同呢 yeah. It depends on the parents yeah. mm. And for entertainment Do you guys like English or Chinese entertainment Like movies or oh. songs Movie wise English Song wise I prefer Chinese songs Because okay. they have more meaning generally Okay. Who's your favorite Chinese singer? Ah, JJ Lin so guys, I'm in Newton Food Centre. Max just joined because I want to show him the best chow lo teal I had in Singapore. I came here yesterday and I told the boss that I would come back to show you guys my favourite delicacy in Singapore. Guys, number 47. Best oyster cake and the chow lo teal or chow guo teal. I, I still don't know how to pronounce it. It's so good. It's usually the chow guo teal and the oyster cake. Usually they're so oily. But when you come to this one, only this one, not so much oil. I don't feel greasy in my mouth. And of course, beer. See you guys in the next video. Ciao. Being bilingual is amazing, you can talk to so many people But there are also problems when you are bilingual Sometimes it makes sense in this language But it doesn't make sense in another language And your brain is constantly switching For example, in Chinese, when you haven't seen a person for a long time You say Now imagine you say it in English Hey Jack, haven't seen you for a while Let's go get a dumpling sometime Why? Why dumplings? In English, you would say Oh hey Jack, how are you? I'm good, I'm good how are you? Yeah, I'm good myself too. Yeah, what's good in the hood? Oh man, not much in the hood. Just the same thing. Now imagine a conversation like this in Mandarin. Hey, Chen Xianzhen, you mm, how? Nina, how? Hey, Jujin, Jali, the Xiao Chu, Lun Ju, the Mayang. Putua, those are those are Zayano. Hi, okay.